Hello everyone, my name is Mrs Dolling and I will be teaching you your maths lesson today. This lesson is lesson five on fractions. Let's start by reviewing the practice activity that you had at the end of the last lesson with Mr Johnson. You had to work out what fraction of the orange Powell and Dominica had once they'd shared it. Let's use these stem sentences to help us answer. The orange is divided into eight equal parts because there are eight equal parts of the orange. Powell has one, two, three, four, five. Powell has five parts. He has five eighths of the whole. So Powell has five eighths of the whole orange. Now let's have a look at what Dominica has. Dominica has one, two, three, three parts. She has three eighths of the whole orange. So Powell has five eighths, Dominica has three eighths, and hopefully you got that too when working on this at home. Let's review how we write non-unit fractions. Look at the image on the screen. How many equal parts are there? How many are shaded? How would we write this as a fraction? Let's go through. The whole has been divided into six equal parts. Five of the parts are shaded. That means that this image is showing us five sixths. And this is how we would write the fraction five sixths. Let's do this question together. It says, shade this fraction on the diagram. The fraction is four fifths. First, let's count how many equal parts there are. One, two, three, four, five. I've counted five equal parts. So the whole has been divided into five equal parts. Now let's think about how many need to be shaded. If I have four fifths, that means four of the parts are shaded. That is four fifths of the whole. I have shaded in four fifths of this diagram. Let's practice that again. It says shade this fraction on the diagram. The fraction is 11 fifteenths. First, we need to count how many equal parts there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've counted 15 equal parts, so the whole has been divided into 15 equal parts. Now let's think about how many of those equal parts need to be shaded in. If I have 11 fifteenths, that means 11 of the parts are shaded. That is 11 fifteenths of the whole. Let's look at this last one together. It says, shade this fraction on the diagram. The fraction is 7 elevenths. Can you work out what 7 elevenths of this diagram will look like when it's shaded? How would we fill in these sentence stems? Pause the video now to have a go at this at home. Can you visualize what 7 elevenths would look like when shaded in? How would you fill in those sentence stems? I hope you've had a chance to do this at home. Let's go through it together now. First of all, we need to count up how many equal parts there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 equal parts. The whole has been divided into 11 equal parts. Now, what did you visualise 7 elevenths would look like? How many equal parts needed to be shaded in? Well, seven of the parts are shaded. It doesn't matter which seven parts are shaded, as long as seven of them are shaded in. This is just my example. You might have thought of something different. That is seven elevenths of the whole. Let's look at this different question together. It says, which model shows five sevenths shaded? So you have a bar model, uh, a model with hearts, and you've got a shape in the left hand corner there. Can you pause the video now and have a think about which model shows five sevenths shaded? If you think one of them doesn't show five sevenths, can you explain why? Pause the video now and have a go. Did you manage to look at all of these models and work out which one was five sevenths shaded? Let's go through it together now. The first one, the bar model, does not show five sevenths. It has 12 equal parts. Five of the parts are shaded and seven are not. But this doesn't show five sevenths because the whole has been divided into 12 equal parts. The bar model is showing five twelfths shaded in. Now let's have a look at the hearts. Do the hearts show five twelfths shaded in? Well, they don't either. The whole has been divided into seven equal parts because there are seven hearts. Only two of the hearts are shaded. That means that two sevenths of the hearts are shaded and five sevenths of the hearts are not shaded. Now let's look at this um, model here. This is a heptagon. A heptagon is a seven sided shape. The heptagon has been divided into seven equal parts and five of them have been shaded in. So the heptagon is showing five sevenths. It doesn't matter which of the five equal parts are shaded in as long as there are five equal parts shaded in. This is your practice activity for this lesson. Let's look at it together. It says, which model shows three fifths shaded? You've got a square shape, a triangle shape, and a circle shape. Which one is showing three fifths shaded? Can you explain your thinking? Can you explain why or why not the models are showing three fifths shaded? We will go over this at the start of the next lesson. Another practice activity that you can do after this lesson is use objects around your house to represent three quarters. Now, I had a go at doing this activity around my house. Let's see what I came up with. I got four spoons and I put three of them in a bowl. Three quarters of my spoons are in a bowl. I then raided my colouring pen drawer and I got out some colouring pens. I got out four colouring pens, three of them are orange and one of them is blue. Three quarters of my colouring pens are orange. I then went back to the kitchen and I got out some cups. I got out four of the same cups and I filled three of them with squash. Three quarters of my cups are filled with squash. So those are the examples that I came up with, with objects around my house to represent three quarters. 
What objects can you use around your house to represent three quarters? What would the three represent? What would the four represent? What different ways can you think of to represent three quarters? Uh, we will look forward to seeing them. Um, I hope you have fun with that and I will see you soon.